engineering department's looking to go out for a request for qualifications um, for engineering, site plan, and building code review consultant services. So this would um, just be looking to establish a partnership or a term contract with a consultant who could help us on large-scale um, commercial industrial project reviews, both the site, traffic, lighting, um, or technical building reviews that aren't uh, like the average residential or smaller scale commercial that we typically see. Um, so this would be made on an effort basis so we get an hourly rate schedule and then the cost would be covered by the application or permit fees that we're collecting. So it's just kind of, and in case something unique comes in, we have support to do a good technical review. Now, I gotta tell you, I've been, because I've been involved with this, I think this was your idea, Mary. Yes. Okay. Um, a couple months ago, I think uh, the Burroughs brothers came in with their 100 acre parcel on Tibor Road and wanted to kind of get ahead of the curve. On, did we do a PDD or what we do as a board to kind of start having them be able to get through the planning board and whatever the skeleton of a commercial site. Um, Bill, I'm looking at you on this one. There was a PDD established. Okay. Yes, you're right, Tom. <laughs> Thanks. Um, like I said, I wish I had a big screen. We could go back to the tape. It made complete sense uh, to take a 100-acre site like that and start to get some of the mechanics all approved it, so that if a developer did come on site, they'd already know that it's gone through that, uh, I'll call it preliminary, that it, it, it can handle this most kilowatts, and this, you know, this large of a building, that type of stuff. One of the things that we found during that process, that it was going to be a couple hundred thousand dollars based on our current code and fee structure to, to actually apply and go through and have the town representatives like the engineering department review that stuff. Um, so we're realistic to the fact, I mean, we have a great engineering staff, and we have great, but, but the type of review and the number of hours that would go into something like that, um, it, it, Mary said, we might want to get into some type of, you know, be proactive, get, in, get into some type of contract pricing with a firm that could help do that. It's not costing the taxpayers any money because the developer's paying it. Um, and you would have to just be judicious about when you use them um, based on you know, the size of the project and the, uh, the scope of what needs to be reviewed. Um, and it won't be surprising in the next couple of years if we have some projects that are uh, more commercial industrial um, genres, uh, things like T-Board Road. Um, since Tessie bought 110 acres on the Xerox campus, I don't think this is breaking confidentiality. I think the Xerox people are starting to look at what other 70, 80, 100 acre parcels over there they can cobble off and sell. Um, some big company comes in there to develop there. That's going to take a lot of work for our staff to review that development. That's how I understood. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah, if we don't yeah. use it, we don't pay. Correct. Yeah, so it, it helps us with uh, workload and it also helps us with um, situations that we haven't encountered before. So. Mary's got a lot of good ideas. I would make a motion that we solicit requests for qualifications for engineering, site plan, and building code review consultant services for the town of Webster. Second. Councilman McDonald? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. Everybody declared. Aye.